Knowledge is key. Uh, right now we on Elite Dangerous. I'm just going through a quick momentary adjustment to show y'all how I get millions fast. Um, as you can see, I'm already up at 60 million. <clears throat> I'm in the Etaconda. My rebuy cost is 13 mil, which a lot of my stuff is modded. The only thing that I actually need uh, it's two things right now. I need my uh, my haul. I need my grade A haul, a 1A haul. I mean, which that could vary from the 1A, 1B, and 1C. But once you get one of those, you know, that'd be pretty good. Um, here, let me just go through this real quick. Uh, so you can see my hard points is modded out. I'm sitting here with a thermo shock um, for my beam laser. Um, my burst laser let me see what I got up on here <clears throat> it's modded but I know I have another mod up on here um, no 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 I didn't uh, put an experimental effect on those yet um, my multi cannon this thing got a uh, corrosive shells so trust if you use any MCs, those is pretty much one of the best things to get. I mean, it crushes the competition. Um, but you know, just roughly, real quick, just to show y'all, yeah, I have mods and pretty much I have mods in all my hard points. Now, if they're not all grade five mods. I'm I'm between two and a half to three on most of them right now. So you know, you get a grade A mod you know that especially your hard point it's going to hit you know no matter what it is it's going to hit with a g5 mod um core eternals like i said uh once i get bulkheads see what they got yeah see the one a's and the one b's that's what you really want to go for i mean i definitely have enough money for the one b But the sad thing about it is, yeah, see, I'm trying to get one of the one A's. You know, these, these is where you want to get to right here. These is where you want to get to. Um, again, um, I got to get my, my bulkheads and my reactor bay. Once I get my reactor bay up to a 6 or 8A, I'd be able to have substantial enough amount of power. So again, I'm pretty much frame shift 6A, thruster 6A, power distributor 8A. So pretty much almost there with that. Um, but again, it's about the fastest way to get money. So the fastest way that I get my money by the millions instead of doing passenger runs um, because it's going to take a while. I mean, yeah, they give up good money in the passenger runs, but it's going to take a while for it. For you to finish it it could take tsh, between an hour or plus you know a lot of people they don't have that that kind of time um where you don't really want to go there because like i said i mean twenty thousand light years you know that's going to take a couple days to reach just to get out there and then another couple days to get back to get 28 mil which i could get that in about a day in a couple hours i could get 28 mil and just to give you a little hint Again, if you look into my transaction, I got my missions completely filled and I have over 30 million dollars in missions right now. Each one of them ranging from two mil, as you can see, two mil, two mil, like yeah, two mil, two mil, um, where's the one mil, but ranging from a mil pretty much from a mil a million and a half I pretty much try to go for I try not to get anything under a million and a half see my lowest one of my lowest is one mil six nine four so you one mil seven five seven one five so you kind of catch my drift so pretty much I have all my missions lined up and I have over 30 million in missions which you know for two million i'm not going far at all for two million i'm literally only going one jump <clears throat> one jump and just to give y'all a little just a little hand on what i mean one jump 
they go my destination boom plotted the course look one jump two mil right there for one jump you know so to me this is one of the most fast efficient ways to get it now when I mean one jump y'all I mean one jump boom one jump you know I'm already in the system though where I have uh, a couple lined up already a couple missions already lined up so whenever I get out the station I go ahead and get onto this planet and boom boom I'll have about four mil right there so which is within just a couple minutes times 10 15 minutes I got four mil you know so about yeah about 10 maybe 15 minutes on each you know it's relatively pretty fast and taking at least a minimum you know an hour and a half to get two mil so it's pretty pretty cool just to give y'all that you know want to you know let all the fan base and people who's darn in you know how to do this and the best way how you can find these planetary scan missions is pretty much whenever you come into a station you got your factions now this is how I find mines you know many people find others but this is how I find mine start from the top you know I'll go with him and I'll go down like see because it won't nine times out of ten when you first starting off with them they're not going to give you any of those or if they do you know take it while you can it'll be probably it's going to be less than you know a million but you know somewhere around 500 to you know a little less than 500,000 so i don't see none up there but boom see i see that he has a couple he has financial data acquisition for two mil but you have to be friendly with him to get that and see and you'll see a lot of these two two hundred and fifty thousand but if you see them at first you want to grab them and you want to build that report up with them to get those same thing we're here see there ain't none in initial so i come down to requirements not met there ain't none so they're not going to give any anytime soon um same thing with this one not going to give any anytime soon so that's pretty much what you want to look for whenever you're looking for these scan datas <clears throat> so and that's how you that's how i get my millions man that's how i'm saying right now in the etaconda and my etaconda right now is worth over 200 million so i mean I clearly just with the shape that my etaconda is in right now um i could easily sell it for the cutter which is 208 million i could easily sell this and still have about uh, i believe like 20 million left over if i traded this conda in for the cutter you know but i actually kind of like the conda the conda is pretty well rounded it's a pretty awesome ship you know like i said i won't really know until i get up there into my ranks where my next rank i'm pushing <laughs> Federation, I'm pushing up my next rank. You know, I'll be able to get that clipper, or not the clipper, but the uh, the gunship. Which the gunship, a lot of people don't like it, but uh, it's, it's a badass ship. If you ask me personally, it's, it's definitely a badass ship. I've seen a lot of people who have used it, and you know, it's it's definitely a gunship. Like it's, I've seen a dude in a gunship pretty much take out a dude in a cutter. You know what I mean? Imperial cutter. You know, so, I mean, they kind of tell, you know, to speak for itself, you know. And every time I went up against them, man, them things is hard. They're, they're hard to take out. So if you got, you know, a gunship, you know, grade five, you know, you got a G5 doubt, you know, nice haul, you know, good shield. Oh, man, and, and good hard points, man, depending on the weapons you use. Oh, man, like lately I've been seeing everybody with the pack hounds, man. They, they swooping on pack hounds up, man. One thing that reminds me of the pack counts is uh, send everything, and he just started just launching. Like, I swear he launched like psh, 100 pack counts, man. It was crazy. But them dam the damage doesn't didn't do what I thought it would do. Like, as far as my MC goes, my MC, like, it eats. Like, if I threw out that many, their shit would have been done, you know, because <coughs> when I'm using my my MCs anyway you know that's usually straight haul but I got corrosive damage so it's taking off your shield too and I I have two loadouts that I use one where I actually use I'll have my beam laser and my burst lasers on one and then I'll have all the MCs on the others on the other button on the L2 button 
but then I have my setup to where I have everything on one button. I call that my uh, when I'm bounty hunting. I got my weapons pretty much all out, send everything on you know my R2, and then I got my FSD interdictor on the L2. So whenever I do it that way, when I put everything together, man, I take out ships in like literally five seconds, ten seconds. So I mean, again, and I mean, I ain't even really opened it up. Like I said, I'm still in the bubble, you know. I've been on this game for over a year. I'm, I'm still in the bubble myself, you know. I try to tell people that too, you know. The only way you're really going to get outside the bubble is if you feel that you have enough fleet ships and they're pretty much all built up, designed the way you want it to, and then you pretty much just take your explore, exploration ship out and just go out, you know, just go out to the void. So, but other than that, if you're someone like me still trying to unlock all the engineers because you do want to lock unlock all your engineers you know that way you have a, a systematic way to be able to you know get a better make make your hard points better make your shield better make you know everything on your ship better instead of the regular ordinary because everybody can have them a, a high rate of ship but if you ain't got them engineers man and you come up come across someone with an engineer you know design ship like you're gonna lose every time you're gonna lose that bout every time so but again like I said, you know, just want to make it real quick for y'all. Didn't want to be on here too, too long. But that's my ways of getting meals. So if you can see right there, boom, I got over 30 million in mission. This literally, I get out clear at least 10 of these in a matter of about maybe an hour and a half, max two hours. I'll have, you know, at least, at least minimum half of 20 clear. You know, so that's already half of 20. That's already, you know, over 10 mil right there. Over 20 mil to be exact because it's close to 40, to be honest. But, you know, right there. So, and then, like I said, once I get done with these missions, like, let's say I'll do about 10 of these missions, get, you know, 10, 15 mil. Then I'll go back. And, you know, the good thing about it is I call Pepper Market. Uh call pepper market so they all are going all these missions are going to the same port so i don't have to go anywhere different i don't have to go from here to here to there every last one of my mission is going to the same star port so once i get done with these i could get done with all 20 of them in a row without even hitting my star port the star port back up and when i go there i'll have everything in that same star port don't have to go to this star port that star port this star port so like i said it makes it a lot more efficient and quicker so uh i hope you hit that like button and like i said once i find out other little fast mechanic things like this i call it my little glitch thing but it's not an actual glitch it's just knowing how to pick missions you know <clears throat> like i said the only other missions that actually pay like this would be either trading or uh <clears throat> trading or uh because i mean you could you could mine it just takes a lot of time mining i don't care what anybody say you can make money from mining it just takes a lot of time and patient like you'll be out there for hours mining just to get a full load you know and then depending on what you're mining you know don't all you know what i mean you got to get either high quality or you know rare type of material you know the mine you know you just don't want to mine something this okay you get a cargo and you have over a hundred tons and yet you still don't even get paid a hundred thousand for you know a hundred tons where certain things like the opal and certain things like that you have over a hundred ton and you'll get paid over a million or two million for that hundred ton so that's fast way again the passenger if you like if you if you like the the the, the, the take the jumps and the take the journey passengers those those are really good because i mean I, I got a kick and started off i made millions from the passenger runs millions from that but like i said i mean just planning it getting back into things and uh finding out the missions and like i said these right here as far as missions the planetary scan jobs stuff like that the scan jobs they pay top that they pay a lot a lot of money so again take that in consideration you know and uh like i said that's the way you can find them man you as soon as you see a 
faction to have them you want to try to get good with that faction and that's pretty much what you want to get and i mean i think they have like an algorithm too in this game because it's like when you pick a certain mission if you pick more of that same mission they'll keep giving you those missions so i think there's an algorithm in that because like i said once i deplete and complete 10 of these i'll go turn them in and yet i'll still find 10 more in the same faction in the same starport and i'll find 10 more of these so <clears throat> again you know that's that's the way that's to get to the bag to me man that's that's the way to get to the bag to me like i said uh and you know hopefully in december you know we'll be all anticipating on december you know that for they dropping out the fleet carriers so you know can't wait till that happens um as I know, the price is going to be in the billions, which, you know, we all kind of knew that it would be in the billions. I mean, come on. I mean, the Etaconda, the Clipper, and the Cutter is both going for hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, quarter of a billion right there. So, you know, just be prepared for these fleet ships to be, you know, a good 10 to 20 billion, dollars, billion credits. So, I mean... Get on a lighter load note, you know, that's another step into the game, another step into getting these space legs, you know. So, I mean, again, can't wait. And uh, hit that like button. And again, I'll be sure to bring you new news and keep updated with Elite Dangerous. And again, thank you for joining and coming. Y'all have a good day.